welcome back. So it's uh, Saturday the 29th of April and it's about 20 to 12 and we're in the Peak District for a change. So we've just parked at Hayfield near the Sportsman's Arms and uh, we had a bit of breakfast at I think it was called Rosie's Cafe on Kinder Road. It's really nice, it's good. Anyway, um, so I've been to the, obviously peaks a few times, but this is the first wild camp on Kinder Scout. In October, I uh, wild camped looking over Winnet's Pass, and that was brilliant. The video's in my back catalogue if you want to go and watch it. But this time we're going to do a, about a seven mile hike up onto the plateau. We're going by uh, uh, Derwent, sorry, um, Kinder Reservoir. And we're going up onto the plateau and then along like the North Ridge to Fairbrook Nears and then keep going round. And the plan is to get the sail stones and uh, pitch there. Although, like I say, it's only 20 to 12, so we're in no hurry, so we'll do a bit of exploring and that. Anyway, you're welcome to join us. Hope you enjoy it. And with a couple of mates, we've got Lee, who you've met before if you've watched any of my videos, and my mate John, who He's another North East lad, but he actually lives in... Well, I shouldn't give too much away. Just in case that uh, MI5 get hold of these details. Anyway, right, I'll bring you back when we uh, get to the top of the plateau. Right, well, we've got the top of Williams Clough, and now, nearly at the very top of our walk. There's the reservoir there, we've come up that clough and then up here, we're going to have our way be it when we get to the top. Get our breath back. So we've had our lunch and now we're heading along the, uh, I suppose, the north ridge of uh, Kinder Scout Plateau towards Fairbrook Nears. Ultimately we're heading towards Sail Stones, but this is, uh, I think this area is called Fords, but I don't know. Anyway, there's some, I know, you've probably seen it all before, haven't you, but amazing rock formations. So we've reached sail stones and now we've got to look for somewhere flat enough to pitch the tents. Um, there must be plenty of places like I've seen plenty of people's videos but I haven't seen any flat bits yet. <laughs> when I do, I'll show you. Well, we uh, got the sail stones, found somewhere relatively flat and uh, then just double check the weather forecast which has been pretty good and they've changed their mind and they uh, said oh it's going to rain now so not really much of a forecast, more just telling us what's going to happen now anyway as you can hear they were right so we quickly uh, pitched and we pitched really early because it's only five o'clock but we thought we'll get the tents up in case it does rain and sure enough it, it, we've got them up just in time so while we're waiting for this uh, rain to pass I thought I'd give you a little look around the uh, the trail star I'll show you the outside when it stops raining so as you can see um, this time I've, I've ordered and I've received which is very quick from MLD the trail star inner the DCF floor um, it's like the, you know, the uh, moon-shaped opening and inside we've got the inner I've got my uh, me, me thermals and my puffy jacket there I've got my thin foam mask to stop us sliding around 
I don't know if you can hear us because the rain's really heavy, uh, hard, <laughs> loud on the DCS shelter. Therma Rest Uber, Uber Light, um, the Enlightened Equipment Enigma, Seek Summer Killer. And there's uh, possibly the odd shape of the trail star. It's wider at the, um, the head end and, and narrower at the foot end. So there's loads of room in there, like. Right, it's stopped raining. So we're out. So I'll, I'll give you a bit of a look around, eh? Not too bad, eh? John's in the, in the brand, brand new OE, OE, OEX Fox 2. It's his first pitch, like, in the wild. He's had to go in the, in the garden. It'll do for the night, eh? He's, he's, his hat's under the tent, though, I reckon. He's, uh, he's pitched his tent on top of his woolly hat. Uh, you live and learn. And then Les is back in his Nevis 200. Some tiny rebels in a, in a vocation. I just been to get some water because I didn't carry much water up. At least, uh, I think it's water. Looks more like Tetley Bitter. <laughs> right, anyway, I'm gonna get some warm gear on. Been stood for the required time, has it? All right. Already, I'm thinking there's not enough water in this. So, fire pot chili con carne with rice. My experience so far with these uh, dehydrated meals isn't very good. So let's give this one a go. Eh? Well, there's no crunchy bits. It seems a lot more rice than it does chili con carne. But it seems all right. Anyway, it'll do. Right, I'm going to revise my review of that fire pot uh, chili con carne. As I was eating it, it started getting quite spicy and much better flavour. I think I was a bit harsh. It was probably the better... Uh, dehydrated meal I've had. Still prefer cooking like, but just trying to keep it light and simple, you know. Anyway, we've uh, all gone back to our tents. Got some uh, nice dry socks on. Got in the air, uh, in the bed. We'll listen to some podcasts. And I'll see you in the morn. Nighty night. Morning. <coughs> I think I slept all right there. Woke up a couple of times for a wee and that, you know. But yeah, slept all right. It's, uh, it's a, bit, a bit misty. Spin the camera around. See through the door. It's certainly cloudy anyway. Uh, but yeah, good night. So. I'm going to get myself uh, packed up and have some breakfast and then tap the tent down, get back to the car and then uh, get home.
Right, breakfast. Well, that was sail stones. <coughs> Had a really good time there. Decent night's sleep. As usual, we've left no trace. All packed up, it's about what, half seven. Did you enjoy that, lads? Yeah, yeah, great. Right, we're gonna get back to uh, Hayfield, maybe, depending on the time, have something to eat in a pub, and then get on with the weekend. Right, thanks for watching. See you next time.